Okay. We're gonna put this through the, the dome, through the hole, yep. and then let it just fall down. And just. You think that ladder's tall enough? Yeah. And let it sit right there. Good, perfect. Great job. Yourself in the eye? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. Right in the eyeball? Yeah. Oh my God. It 
looks like nothing. It looks like a piece of just rubber, but it's very heavy. It's very thick and dense. Very dense. And it's flexible, so it kind of kind of moves and melts in your arms, you know? So if we have this part on the small ladder resting like we did yesterday with the um, insulation. Mm -hmm. So that's resting, and then you take this part and just flop it over. What are you doing? Um, I'm just uh, kind of fixing the insulation, the roof insulation, and the liner here to the beam. I'm just staple gunning it to the beam so that it doesn't shift around on us mm. before we put the top cover on. This definitely looks safe, what you're standing on. I know. I'm sorry to everybody out there who is a safety person. This is how it's going to be. All right. I don't think this is gonna happen. I can't, I cannot safely get up on top of this ladder. Epic fail. Okay, it wasn't an epic fail. The successful part is me carrying the top cover on my head. Again, this is not by the book, this is just what I'm doing. I don't feel comfortable getting up on the ladder past the second to last step with that heavy of an object on my head. And I don't think the camera is doing justice to how heavy the top cover is, it's very heavy. So Nicole and I are making a makeshift scaffolding. We took all the pallets we have, we took like eight of them, and we're doing an eight pallet high base. I put the ladder on top of there so it's nice and rooted and I don't have to go so high up on the ladder. So I can put the top cover on my head walk it up the ladder to a comfortable step, throw it over the top, and get done safely. Is that it? Okay, good. Not, not yet. No, 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 stop. Okay, stop me. Okay, can we slowly inch it toward me? So one, one, three, we're gonna push up. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, up. Stop right there. Good job. Hey! Hey! Woohoo! Woo! Hey!
she's a beef woman. There you go. Ah! Oh my god. Woo! All right, guys, we got the top cover in place, which was challenging and heavy. <laughs> it was so hard. Did you did it get framed? No, because um, there's a door opening here that we didn't know was cut for the door opening, even though it does say it in the manual. We didn't know how to find it when we unraveled it, and it's just so heavy, I couldn't be concerned with the door opening. So we were about six feet off this cut. I don't know if you guys can see it. it needed to come in front of the door opening. So we're going back my old wrestling days. We used to move wrestling mats with air underneath the mat. So we're gonna do the same thing and just put one eye together or pop them. And then we can just kind of spin it into place, little by little. Securing the top cover? Yes, with the twist lock shanks. <laughs> It's hard to see through the screen door. Oh yeah? Yeah. Top cover has a cutout that's perfectly sized for the French doors. And there's grommets in here and it allows me to put these little twist shank hardware pieces in these grommets and fasten it to the door. So we have a nice, tight, and might I say classy looking seal.